Hi, I'm Dave from Rutland Cycling. Today we're taking a closer look at these brand new Wahoo Speedplay pedals. Now, if you follow professional road cycling closely over the years, you might well be familiar with the name Speedplay. Loved by pro racers, you'd regularly see Speedplay pedals around the professional peloton with their unique lollipop design and yellow cleats. But a couple of years ago, Speedplay was snapped up by Wahoo, and now we've got our hands on the brand new Wahoo Speedplay Advanced Pedal System. The new range is much tighter than previously with four standard pedal models. The Comp, Zero, Nano and Aero, plus a new power pedal system called the Powerlink Zero. So let's talk about the pedals in a bit more detail and what it is that sets Wahoo Speedplay apart from other pedals on the market. Firstly, there's an obvious visual difference between Speedplay and your usual pedals from say Shimano or Look. This lollipop style is pretty unique and has a number of benefits, including the fact that you can clip in from both sides, making it the only dual-sided road pedal around. The exception, of course, is the aero pedal, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail later. This design has a couple of other benefits. The stack height is the lowest of any pedal on the market. And what that means is that your foot is effectively bang on the pedal spindle, so you get really efficient power transfer. You also get exceptional cornering clearance. So if you're railing corners in a crit, there's less chance of clipping a pedal. But the big difference with Speedplay is the amount of adjustability that you have within the pedal and cleat system. And this is why they've always been a big hit with bike fitters. These cleats have independent three axis adjustability. And what that means is that you can adjust them fore and aft, left and right, and you can also dial in the flow to exactly how you like it within a range of zero and 50 degrees. All this adjustability means you can tweak the cleat position to exactly how you want it to feel, and even with differences from your left leg to your right. So whatever your biomechanics, your flexibility, or if you have any odd injuries, you can find a sweet spot for maximum comfort, and also to prevent any future injuries. When it comes to the cleats, there's a few parts in the box. First up, you've got a number of shims. You can swap these out, and these will make sure your cleat fits snugly to your sole. These attach to the base plate, which attaches like any other cleat, and this is where you can set your fore and aft adjustment. You've then got a cleat surround and the cleat itself. This is a four bolt pattern, and this is where you can adjust your left and right placement. Your float's adjusted with these two small screws in the cleat right here. And again, that means your feet can find their most comfortable position when pedaling. So whether that's heel in or heel out, or you want your feet locked in or with a little more movement, you can do that right from a single cleat. Lastly, you've got this cover, which pops on the top and stops you damaging the cleats when walking around. You've also got options when it comes to cleats too. These black ones are standard tension, or there are these easy tension versions. These ones have a lighter action spring for easier pedal engagement. The cleats also have this dimpled, low profile look for better aerodynamics, and they've got a rubberized, walkable design, so no more sliding around in cafes. As if that wasn't enough, you can also get different spindle lengths for these pedals. All of this means that your legs and feet can move in the most optimal way for your particular body. So, in theory, that means more power and better efficiency. But it also means that if you struggle with knee pain, foot pain or hip pain when cycling, there is a ton of adjustability to help you find your most comfortable position. Outside of all this adjustability, these new pedals are also a lot easier to look after than the old Speedplay pedals. They've now got a completely sealed system, so once they're on, you don't need to do anything in the way of maintenance. And this new pedal body with a bit more metal means that they are much more durable. So that's some of the reasons why these new Wahoo Speedplay pedals are different. But what does that mean for the range? Well, there's four pedals to choose from right now. They all use the same design with the same adjustability, but with a few differences in materials and weight. What we've got here is the Comp, are the easy or entry level Speedplay pedals. These have a chrome alloy spindle and they come with great easy tension cleats in the box. And these weigh in at 232 grams. Next up is the Zero, and this is your race ready pedal. This weighs in a little lighter at 222 grams, comes with a stainless steel spindle, and you get the standard tension cleats. Now, if you want to really push the boat out, at the top of the range, you've got the Nano. These are dramatically lighter at just 168 grams, and that's thanks to a titanium spindle and a carbon composite body. The last pedal in the range is the Aero, and this is a little different to the rest of the range. Matching the dimple design on the cleats, this version is single-sided, but when clipped in, it's far more aerodynamic. Now, there's one more pedal coming to the range that we don't have our hands on just yet, and that is a pedal-based power meter called the Powerlink Zero. Make sure to check back later in the year where we'll take a closer look at those. So there you have it. If you're looking for a performance road pedal and you've struggled with injury in the past, or you just want something that's more adjustable than anything else out there, then make sure you take a good look at the new Wahoo Speedplay range. To find out more, click the link below, head to your nearest Rutland Cycling store or give our team of experts a call.